today we are going to be looking at how to do this gloss spray bee portfolio. So I took a super fun class from Dina Wakely about how to use her gloss sprays. And these are um, acrylic paint sprayable form. So it's a little bottle and it has a shaker in it. And what happens is you can use it in all different kinds of ways. And then she taught a class of how to do it. It's Ranger Inc. And so what happened was I wound up with like a bunch of stuff because I had followed along with the class and then the thing. So I made these tissue papers. I made these um, really cool backgrounds. And then I made these... Uh, these really cool um, other backgrounds and then this dark blue one that I didn't love. It doesn't match anything else I did, but I wanted to try some different colors. So what I wanted to do was to do a project that would use all of the aspects of what I had and kind of limit myself to using gloss sprays as much as I could in this folio, I did use some scrapbook paper. I did use a little bit of Tim Holtz um, wallpaper. But in general, I tried to use as much of the gloss spray as possible. Once I knew I was going to use those gloss spray um, pieces that I had, I, I wanted to figure out what I was going to make. And I had in my stash this folio, um, I think it's ideology, that is like it opens up and the thing I like about it is you have your front and your back cover then you have your inside cover and then you have these three little like layers that you can use and then some more areas and the thing that I liked about this for this project was I didn't want to make something so huge that I had to make a ton of other stuff that I could kind of use up what I'd already made but I also wanted to have something that would be big enough that I could use my free printable B ephemera because that was what the project was going to be. That's what I had in mind when I made all the yellow and gilt, cheddar and gilt and medieval, the dark gray um, gloss sprays. All right, I wanted to take a little mid-project break. So this is scrapbook paper. This is tissue paper with the gloss sprays, Dina's gloss sprays. Uh, this is the insert of the folio with scrapbook paper on it. More gloss sprays. More scrapbook. Oh, no, that is um, wallpaper from Tim Holtz there and there. And then more gloss sprays. So that's where we're at right now. So I had made a ton of these cool um, tissue paper backgrounds in the class, but it wasn't nearly enough for what I needed for this project. So I came up with a new um, technique and here's that new technique I used. So I wanted some cool um, bee stuff because I'm making a bee journal out of my gloss. So look, it gets on the back, but then it makes those cool, sometimes little filled cells for the um, for the beehive areas. Look how cool! How is that? Okay, I wanted to do it with a darker color too. So this is medieval and night. Good puddles, such good puddles. All right. Too much. Oh, so how deep your puddle is matters, you guys. Oh, look how cool that looks. 
but the first puddle was too deep, so I should just touch it in rather than sticking it down. We'll try one more. So just get enough to There we go. That is going to look so good in my journal. So one of the features of this journal was going to be to use these um, different, the different parts that I had made in Dina's class. So this is actually that blue background that I didn't like very much. And I used it two different ways. I used it here in the large B and then also as the, um, the front part of this two two part die for the little b and then i used all throughout this journal i used my b ephemera here's one of those pictures and then here's some more on the stand up parts of the um the insert that you have inside that folio okay i'm pretty far into this project and I, I don't know, I just feel like I need to go around with white paint right around the edges of that to get a more, I like how these turned out. Those are really showing up well. But I think I need to go around with some white paint to get a look. And here is the final flip through. I love how these open. There's um, one of the bees on the front and then the inside cover. I did go around with a lot of white paint with Dina's glazing medium, Dina Wakely glazing medium from Ranger. And then uh, to kind of mute the background, this is the first time I've ever done a white journal. So I feel like it turned out really well. And there's a whole bunch of the ephemera. I used the white paint with a stencil to put some of the, um, the dots all over i have a thing for those dots they're my favorite stencil and then you can close it back up and this is the back and i thought that turned out really cute i love how the whole thing came out